After recently sharing this police body camera video, defense attorneys for two men charged with assaulting a Baltimore City police officer in January say they found more discrepancies. Now they want to review grand jury testimony. We have very serious concerns about whether or not um, some information, false information, perjury perhaps was brought before the grand jury um, in the indictment of these matters. Defense attorneys Hunter Pruitt and Natalie Finnegar represent Donnell Burgess and Zane Abdullah. They say Sergeant Welton Simpson's own body camera, along with the citizen's cell phone video and police written reports, tell a different story. The defense lawyers believe the sergeant initiated and provoked the incident outside a store on Pennsylvania Avenue. What verbal command did he give other than get the F out of my face? The defense says the videos show no evidence of that. In a use of force statement, Simpson gives a different description. Rather than my client spitting on him, he says that my client started to speak and spittle came in his direction. As Simpson attempts to arrest Abdullah, Video shows the two on the ground, Abdullah yelling, I can't breathe. Police say Burgess assaulted the officer while trying to help his friend escape, but defense attorney Pruitt disagrees. He never puts his hand on that officer. He never touches him. He never hits him. He never kicks him in any of the, the videos that I have seen. And all he was doing was helping him. A spokeswoman for the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office sent us the statement. It reads, we cannot legally or ethically comment on open and pending cases or investigations still under review, as is the case at hand. As always, we will be transparent with the public about our decision and publish any relevant information, if and when the time comes. The defense attorneys say the time is now. The state's attorney could end this tomorrow by dismissing the case. The Baltimore City Police say that the incident is being handled by their Public Integrity Unit both men are paying for private home detention, and their trial is set for November 4th. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.